Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I'm glad to be back. I was been under the weather for a little bit, but um, back to normal, and I'm so glad to be back in my craft space. You can tell you're not feeling well when you're not in your craft area <laughs> or behind a crochet hook. For me, that's my other go-to. But anyway, so today I thought we'd do a little tutorial on making some tucks or um, journal cards and pockets all out of the same idea. Okay, so I thought I'd cut different sizes for you. Um, being as creative as I can be some days, <laughs> I did write uh, just measurements so that you can get an idea of how big this is. I have one here, one and a half by two inches, two and a half by three and a half, um, three by four and a half, and a three by five. So if you can see, that's about exciting as that gets. On the other hand, it, it, it is helpful sometimes when you are just starting out and numbers matter. So in any ways, you can make them as big or small as you want, as long as they fit in your journal, and, and here we go. So I thought I'd start um, with the larger one. I have some very old um, paper that comes from a dictionary. I'm just going to grab a couple of sheets of that. I'm going to show you this book, how old, how very old it is. It's falling apart at all sides, but the pages are just wonderful. And you know, you don't realize that years ago they made everything um, quality and you don't see dictionaries nowadays with all the information that's in this book. I was surprised when I started going through it. It was like, oh my gosh, there's colored photos and there's, you know, um, different um, uh, general information. There's some atlas with colored pages. I have preserved those. There's letters. It's um, all sorts of things that I, I was surprised about. But So I'm enjoying this book from cover to cover, even though it would take me eons to use it all. But it what a delight. So anyway, let's get some pages. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of information. Um, in here. So I'm just going to grab a couple of pages. Um, I'm just conscious of some words sometimes. You, uh, we want positive words. So I'm going to start with this page. If I can get it out without tearing, as you can see, it is very, very brittle. There we go. But I thought it would be a good base for our cards. So I'm going to start with this here. Um, and the first word I see there is vegetable. And so I'm going to go with that one on the bottom there. And um, start with the glue. So here we go. Let's take my large card. This is a 3x5. I'm going to set it at the bottom here. Pages here, I'm not quite sure. Two. It'd be good if I put my glasses on, you know. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know, sometimes you think you got one paper, and alright, there we go. Alright, so here we are. If I can stop stalling away here. And I'm just going to put the glue right on this card here. There we go. This is my handy dandy craft glue. Um, it's 
a clear glue, it adheres quickly. I really love it. And I don't know what I'm doing here. So it's this side I want. Right there. Now, because this paper is so, so fragile, it will tear very easily. So I just kind of fold right up against the card there. And it tears, watch it not work with me here, but anyway, tears right away. There. There we go. I have uh, my handy dandy nail file. <laughs> this is one of those um, really rough uh, nail files you would use when you have the artificial nails. And one side is rough, but the other side is sandpaper, pretty much. And I just go over it lightly all around. It helps the very edges um, of the paper adhere to the cardstock. And then I need my handy dandy uh, wipe. I like clean slate, so I like to get that dust off of the workspace. There we go. And there we have it. Now, the, the next thing I do is to, um, I like to round my corners. Not everything, but some projects I do. And my little handy dandy tool here, I think that's listed in my tools that I got from Hobby Lobby. I don't know about your Hobby Lobby, but with all this um, new way of life that we have, they switched the doors, and so I'm having a little trouble. I can't go alone uh, because the handicapped door is on the right, and they have you coming out that door and in the door on the left. Well, the door on the left doesn't have a handicapped thing, so it's a little tricky for me to get in there with my chair. So I uh, need an escort now to go, so, which is not a problem, but um, I'm hoping that they reverse those doors again soon so I can come and go freely. Um, it's not like we have a lot of choice of um, craft stores because I live out in the rural part of the state. So anyways, okay, so there we go. That looks good. You know. Um, that's an important store if you're a crafter, you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my ink here and I'm just going to go around the edges. Uh, I sometimes have a plan when I work, and other times it's just move along freely and be creative. Things happen as you go. I don't always, I do better just off the cuff, I, I suppose, because um, generally speaking, I'm not a planner. I'm not one of those, you know, organized to the gills kind of people. I'm more like, uh, I work better under pressure, chaos, excitement. I, I suppose I got to be that way when my in my younger days when I um, worked with children, and, you know, children are unpredictable. They're, they do different things every day. Every day they're full of creativity and surprise, and it's so, I, <laughs> you have to learn to go with the flow, so to speak. So there. Okay. Now sometimes I like to embellish with even more words. So... Um, 
we have magazine. Um, let me see where I put it. You know, one minute it's here, and the next minute I'm, I'm like a train wreck. Let's see here in my book. A little bit of. Words. I'm going to just take a random page. These are also um, very old books. Oh, that dictionary was, uh, the, dic the dictionary was uh, 1942. These books are, this one here says 1980, so it's 40 years ago. And I have some that are older. But I like the printed words, and this is a crochet pattern. Um, on one side, an ad on the other, a sparkling cardigan, and I'm going to use part of this word with the direction. I just like the way the print looks with a lighter paper. It's not as aged, and I'm going to just use a piece of that and put that right there on our card. I really like the way that it looks. This is actually um, knitting. I don't knit. That's one thing I could never figure out. And I tried. I'm going to ink that paper first. Just on the torn edges. Give a little character. Yeah, knitting is not something I could ever do. I tried, but my crochet hook in me or like one. <laughs> the knitting needles and I are just uh, we don't come from the same brain I guess. I, I just can't do it. So I always admire people who can knit because it looks so complicated and and the items are so beautiful. Crocheted items are beautiful as well, but it's different. It's it's a uh, it's a different craft altogether. You wouldn't think so, but totally different. There we go. So words on words, smaller words underneath, and the larger words on the top. Um, I'd like to put something across here. A word on my little bucket here. I'm going to bring out. I have some little things saved because. You just have to have a a little bit of organizing. I'm not great, but I'm 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 getting better. As this craft is, look at this. The word inspired. This craft has inspired me to at least uh, put like things together. So that is a good thing. I always need to be a little bit challenged in my day-to-day uh, -day, uh, craft world and this craft is so inspiring I am so happy to be using a lot of the items I've had over the years and sharing that knowledge the abundance of knowledge on the internet from all the other crafters is just overwhelming I I was so surprised to see so many people um, and such you know, such generosity with their craft and sharing with everybody that I thought, well, I could do that. So I'm new, as they say, in this craft, and I just love it. I honestly could do this uh, hour upon hour, and some days I do, <laughs> and then other days I, I um, look forward to the time that I can uh, come back in here and, and work. Well, let's see what else we can add here. I think we're going to need a little butterfly. Uh, butterflies are probably one of my favorite um, additions to my um, journals. I love the butterflies on the pages. They just give you a light, happy feeling, and sometimes we need a little happy time. There we go. Breeze good, I think. And what else?
else can we be inspired by on this page? Maybe a little bit of color or a little ribbon. Let's see my other box here. You know, you have to keep all your... Um, <laughs> this is a constant work of art here. I have this little bin that I really work from all the time, but it never seems to go down. I don't know what the story is with that, but <laughs> it just grows and grows, and I keep working on it, and it just keeps on growing. But I'm going to put a little bit of lace, I think. I'll take that little piece. I love the material factor with, um, with the paper. And we have ink, and we have paper, and we have lace, and I just love it. I'm going to go over here. I think we're going to put it on this side. Take that little piece off. There we go. Just so that it hangs just off the edge. I'm going to put this on here. And then in the back of, of this journal card, you could draw lines for writing, or you can leave it blank. You know, it, it's up to you. Sometimes I like the lines, and Sometimes I just like the blank card in the back for writing space. I'm just going to raise that up just a little so you can just see it. There. Just a trim on the back. Wipe my fingers. You know, good thing for baby wipes, huh? Or wet paper towel or wet, you know, piece of cotton. Anything that you can clean your fingers with as you go. Because, you know, some of us are messy Marvins, and that would be me. Um, so if we look dirty, it's because we've been playing in the ink. <laughs> there. Look at that. I, I, I'm already loving that, and it's simply three pieces of paper on top of each other and writing space on the back. So there we have it. So let's try another one, and we're going to... Um, you know what, I think I want to put this one, I think I'm going to put a little bit of a half circle here for slipping things in. Of course, there goes your butterfly, but that's okay, because nothing's perfect. There. I think I like that. So when you slip something in there, it's easier to get that out. There we go. There's one. Now let's go for this one. Similar, um, I'm going to uh, use a different, well, I think I'm going to use the same paper because I might attach all these together. So that would be uh, a nice look. You see how I changed my mind in a flat second? Let's check for words. I don't like to use a negative word, so we're going to um, let me get my glasses here so I can see. Sometimes you need the glasses. When I was younger, I could see perfectly without glasses, and then, you know, that thing called getting older happens, and I needed uh, cataract surgery, and that made my um, vision to see far, my uh, nearsightedness, completely go away. I can I have 20-20 vision now. Only now I need the glasses <laughs> to read closer. You only get an option of one or the other. You can't have both when that happens. Um, I think these are okay. I always like to check the words because um, yeah, you want you, you want good words. You don't want any any vulgar or, you know, weird words. So here we go. We're going to glue this card. And this is the three by four and a half. The other one was five. It's not much smaller, but it's just small enough that it will look nice together. Um, let me check my words again. That one has vacuum. That's, that's, that's okay word. 
I'm just going to set this in the middle of this page right here. There we go. And again, just this paper, like I said, you need a lot of glue and you want to make sure that it's well glued down nice and secure so that the, it doesn't come off the paper and uh, because it's so fragile it will tear so when you're using really old paper just make sure you're using plenty of glue there a, a really good glue stick would be good i didn't have one at, at my table here uh, today so the one I have is a little gummy, and I don't want to use that on this paper, so there. I need to test more uh, glue sticks to find one that works the best here. And then again, just lightly, I'm going to go around the edges. It takes only a second, and it really makes a difference, I've noticed, um, with the paper, especially the old paper. Get rid of my dust, because you know, we need to do that. I'm going to round the edges here. My handy dandy corner tool. You get, I don't know about you, but I, you get stuck on certain items when you work, and that's one of the things that I, I love. And I like the size of the corner that it makes. It makes three different sizes, but I'm stuck on this one. It's the largest of the three. Um, I know I'll wear it out, but that's okay. We'll get another one down the road. And we're going to ink this paper. Of course, this paper is already um, caramel color because of the age of it. But I'm just going to use a little... Um, vintage photo ink here and give it a nice edge. I've decided, you know, I'm not going to put lines, I don't think, on the back because I think I'm going to use these as a tuck and just stagger them um, or not. <laughs> maybe not. I guess we're going to we're going to use them as maybe one thing or another. We'll just see. Just that one will be by itself um, because it is already a tuck. And when you use them, you can glue down, you know, your three sides and then adhere to your page and then you can, you know, put things right in there. Or you can just tuck the bottom and use it from the top. So it, it really is up to you or just two sides as a slip like kind of thing. Uh, whatever works in your journal at that moment is how it works the best. But I really like the way that looks. Okay, let's see this here. Now this one here, I had an idea of a little bit of <clears throat> wildlife on there. Let me see if I can find my paper. Um, I found some great, I found some great, old books in a, uh, in a, uh, it was a, uh, an antique shop, and I just had a big time in there, if I could just be that organized person, that would make my projects much easier, but I'm working on it, here we go, I found this, um, it was like a child's book, a learning book that you actually, you know, uh, you know, what's the name of the bird? And there was questions. It was probably, you know, like a second grade, a first, a second grade book. And I just love the photos. Uh, and the book, again, old. I know I have it somewhere in the date. But for now, I'm just going to go with this little bird right here. I just love Looks like a little chickadee. And then and there, I got some weird images because I, you know, copied a bunch because I thought ah, once I use them, they'll be gone. So I need to make some copies. Uh, yeah, and the more experienced ladies uh, that are doing this craft are way ahead of me on that. But I'm learning. I'm learning. 
that is such the fun part of this uh, is that the learning is uh, it's like you know you learn something new and or you do something on your own and you're like wow that is really gorgeous and and it's just paper I think that's the exciting part for me is that I have so many things from over the years from the running the daycare and being crafty that I have all these things and I was quilter and so you know it's like well, how can I use all this stuff I would never use it all um, just because I really love this bird on here how cute is that and so you know junk journaling using your stuff finding the stuff in the house you have so much stuff in your house you know before you go shopping um, go through everything I find the smallest of things sometimes the most fun um, little bits and pieces of paper and old like my old craft magazines have so much stuff in there um, that I'll never use and and you know <laughs> unfortunately my children are not crafty so they're not going to use them so I figure here we go we're going to use up every little bit of scrap and book and paper and ribbon and buttons and bows and everything I can find so <laughs> and I know I'm rambling but sometimes this is just so exciting so now this one this one's going to be a tuck this one I think will make a journal card and so I'm going to put a um, little bit of a um, ribbon or something there let me grab my handy dandy punch here oh, let's go this way so you can see what we're doing and I'm going to secure that because that paper is so fragile I have some oh that's not what I want I have some um, you know circle uh, reinforcements here because this paper is so fragile and I like to um, preserve that there we go. And I just literally just ink them um, on or off the card. I'm going to give this a little bit more ink on the back side and the front side. That circle. There we go. So pretty. Now I'd like to do something else there. Um, let's see in my little bucket of things. I don't, I need to make more, um, words. Uh, I really like, uh, here, this is cute. You can use notes. Make sure you put your notes on there. I like that. I'm going to trim that down just a little bit, though. So it's too too long for my liking. I'm going to put a little bit of ink on that. Everybody's blending. <laughs> so I hope your day is good today. My uh, getting back to feeling good is a huge plus. And you know, you always know that no matter you know how your day goes, somebody else has probably a worse day, so I am grateful every day for my abilities to do the things that some others maybe couldn't do. Even though I have a disability, I'm grateful for every thing that I have and everything that I can, can give. So that makes my day a happy one. There we go. I'm going to put a little string there. I have um, this string. It's um, 
it's cording bead for beads like if you're gonna make like a bracelet or something it's really not stretchy it's more like a cotton uh, cord I can put my glasses back on I can tell you what it is uh, it doesn't tell me what it is but anyway it's it's, it's a, like a cotton string cord and it's great for these little tags journaling tags but I will put a little bit of glue on there just because I don't want it to uh, slip apart and come off. So I always put a little bit of, a little dab will do ya, a little glue on there. If I can get my fingers to cooperate here. There we go. Give that a tug. And then I'll snip this a little bit. And then put a little bit of glue. I separate, I try and separate the two pieces of cord. There we go. And put the glue right in there. And then put it back together so they adhere to one another. There we go. Wipe my fingers. There we are. Now, on the back, you could make lines and for journaling or just leave it like that. I think I'm just going to leave it. So now we have a tuck. We have a journaling card. And we'll make another one here. Where's my other one? Let's see. See, I've already I've lost my way. Here we go. <laughs> Here's my other one. And we're going to do the same here, just decorating them a little bit differently. This one looks like it needs a little bit of something on there. I'm going to go back into my little box of plenty. And see if I have something. Well, here's a little stamp. I kind of like that. A little postage stamp. Sometimes I can't decide. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But you never know. I think I'm going to just... Here we go. Oh, I like, I like this little flower. <clears throat> it's a bit of a stamp with a flower. Let me put my glasses on so I can see the which way it goes. There we go. I don't know. It's kind of too small. I think I won't. All right, then we'll just continue on. <coughs> Let's see what we have here for words. I always like your nice, cheery words just in the event. We don't want any funny words. I'm going to try this piece. Variety. Well, that's a good word. Let's go with that. Okay. Again, lots of glue when you're working with the old paper. We want it to adhere nicely. And don't be afraid to be generous with the glue. There we go. I do use these little bottles because they... Um, They, uh, oops, stick that to myself here. They come out in a more narrow stream, and definitely I have more control over the amount of glue that's coming out. Sometimes if the, you know, the, the neck of the bottle is too big, I, I tend to be a disaster with too much glue. So I like a lot of glue, but I also like to have control of where it's going. <laughs> if that makes sense to you. You know, here we go. Peel these off. And decide. And, you know, I noticed here already that I'm going to move these out of the way so they don't get all dusty. Um, I've noticed that I've already uh, torn this paper on the corner, so we will just add to it because it's 
it's just paper and it's very forgiving this craft is very forgiving and so lovely to not have the stress of uh, like when I'm crocheting if there's a wrong stitch there's a wrong stitch you can't fix it unless you fix it so um, sometimes you can kind of fix them but really I like the work to be um, to be right this card is a little bit lopsided so I'm going to just trim it just a little bit there I'll try that one more time there we go there now this corner is a little bit tear but our corner chomper might just take care of that there we go didn't even have to repair that. Good it was the corner, huh? Here we go. And again, we're going to ink. So we have a pocket, a tag, and this one, this one can be either or, but I have an idea for this one. So let's our ink on there. Oh, it's warm in my office today. I, I've been uh, out in the pool in the last couple of days and it's still glorious but those days are getting shorter and shorter as we get into fall. Um, I do live in the south but it's it's still cool at certain times. It's not, it's not, it's not Miami, that's for sure. <laughs> but I would like it to be. Okay, so this time, I'm going to put a little tuck here, I think, and see about adding a little bit of a pocket on this, front of this card. Let's see here. Uh-huh. I'm just going to narrow this card down. I'll be right here. Just move my stuff out of the way. Let's see if that works. Okay, well, it'd be good if it was the other piece of paper I had here. Oh my goodness. See? And I haven't done anything, I haven't gone anywhere, but I, I lose things right in front of me. I don't know if you're all that way, but this, this craft has a mind of its own, that's for sure. I'm just going to cut another piece of paper here. Let's try it now. Okay, I'm just going to go down a little bit more. Just at one inch. And we'll do two and a half inches. There, just a little. Oh my goodness, and there's a bug. Okay, you need to go away. That's the other thing of this time of the year. The bugs are looking for new homes. Like that little tag there. Okay, we're just gonna oh, get around these corners too. Well, this one I will use a smaller corner just because it's so tiny. Oh, let's try that again. And one more. There we go. Okay, now let's get back to business. Still not right. Well, sometimes you just have to get a little help. There, good enough. And we'll go around. Everything is forgiving. I'm going to do this. A little inking. 
can do it around the corners on here as well with this one. This piece says telegram on there and we're just going to glue down three sides so we can use it as a pocket and you can write on there. So let's do that. see here. Just a thin line on the edge. So it's just enough pocket to hold that little card. I'm going to put it right there. It says telegram. There we go. There we are. Let's see how this fits in there. Perfectly. And I'm stick to myself here. <laughs> the uh, the evidence is clear. I have been crafting away. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't need that one. But I think on this one, I need to put a, something on there. Some words some inspiration, or just some, let's see, I think I'm going to use a stamp, you know, you, as you see, sometimes you just go with the flow, and change your mind as you go, there we go. We have a little bit of flower there, and on the back some writing space. So I'm going to stick that right in there. I think I'm going to do a sticker to give it some color. Let's see. I have these butterflies. This is a uh, browns. They, you know, with fall here, I'm, I'm really enjoying working with the the different colored browns. I'll stick that butterfly right there. And there we have it. Three different size cards. Oh, we have a tuck, and then if I can put them back in order. And we have a tag, and we have a little journaling uh, card that can be tucked inside your tuck with another little tuck here for a little bit of a special note. Uh, a telegram, a little message to yourself here, your appointment, whatever you need to write down in there, journaling space on the back, and look, I've smudged that, so let's give that just a little bit of a, um, well, give it some character here, and then you'll be still able to write um, on there as well. Let's see. I don't know which way to go. You see what happens? You get so <laughs> caught up in your own um, designs. And then you're like, oh my goodness, what did I do? There we go. And you can still write up right on there. But I like that better. There we go. So we have three. Let me move my things out of the way. Three beautiful cards, all with very, very old um, pages, and then not so old pages, more like, well, 40, 1942 and 1980, uh, you know, that's 42 years um, difference, but still very old, 40 years ago on this one, uh, and the same with these little pictures of the birds, I had gotten that uh, book that was also very old. So here we have it. We have a tuck, a tag, and a journaling card with a journaling card. How cute is that? So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I definitely uh, am glad to be back and I'll have more tutorials coming up soon. So be watching. Um, I thank you for your time and 
I am grateful for your company. I do spend much time uh, here alone, and but I don't feel alone with the community of crafters. So I thank you. And please subscribe, like if you like this um, tutorial or you learned anything. I'd appreciate that. little thumbs up. And have a marvelous day. Thank you.